it's Julie. Thanks for joining me today. This is the first session of the Illustrative Faith Goals Devotional Kit. And this is the kit. These are all the cards. And I'm working on card one, session one. We're going to use some of the stickers. And this card talks um, about wisdom, James 1, verses 5 through 6. And it takes us to a verse, and I'll read the verse in just a little bit. And we're asking God for wisdom. And what I'm doing today is I'm really going to use this card as my inspiration for my design. That way I can just spend a little bit more time focusing on the word and not so much on the design. I'm going to have fun with the design, but I'm not having to be all uh, just coming up with my own thing. Now, you saw what I did there with this washi tape. I was sticking it on my hand. That is so that I can use it to mask off some areas. By putting it on my hand, I took some of the stickiness off. You can also uh, put it on your jeans or your pants, whatever you're, you're wearing, something like that. You just want to take some of the stickiness off so that it won't stick to your page completely and tear it. I have done that before and I've learned my lesson. So what I'm doing, I'm just masking off some area. I'm making kind of this triangle, just like what's over on the devotional card. And we're going to use some Distress inks. And we're going to, I'm using, um, let's see what these colors are, Abandoned Coral and I think it's Peacock Feathers, but I will be sure to link them. Now what I'm using is one of these blending tools and I am just picking up some ink and blending them by kind of um, circling, using it kind of like you put blush on your face, um, if you wear blush on your face. And I'm speeding this up a little bit, it does take a little bit of time. Now I forgot and I figured it out a little bit later, but the best thing to do is when you pick up the ink is to over on your side on your scrap paper just immediately sponge off what is the first bit just do a first sponge off so that you get that really vibrant ink off first and it'll just make it a blend a smoother blend all right so i'm picking up the washi tape and i'm moving it slightly over so that it's just on the inside of my lines now and uh, now I'm mar masking off the margin area because now I'm going to make a lighter. That was my darker. And now I'm going to do a lighter color here. And here's where I really should have sponged it off first because that first sponging that you put down is just brighter and darker than the rest. But I'm going for a lighter effect and I'm not really worried about it being too precise because in the end I'm going to end up spritzing this and kind of going for a modelly look, a modeled look, and so it's going to end up being okay. But if you want a really smooth, blended, perfect blended look, make sure you sponge off the first impression, the first generation of ink so that you get a, a smoother blend. And we're going to do this up at the top. So you see, there we go. Now we'll do better this time. You see, you just don't get that big splotch of color. I'm speeding it up now. So we started in the middle with that first triangle. It's going to have, it's going to be darker. And then over here on the edges of that, it's going to be lighter. So I masked off the margins. And I'm going to now spritz this Distress ink. Distress inks are activated. The pigment is activated by water. And when I do this, you're not going to be able to see it on the screen too well. If this were Distress Oxide ink, you might be able to see it better. But what it does is it gives it kind of a watercolor look, a model -y look, like it's uh, modeled. And it's really cool. So I spritzed it. I gave it a really good spritzing, and now I'm just um, going over it with my heat gun. You don't, if you don't have a heat gun, you don't have to do this. You could just let it air dry, going over where there are a couple of really wet spots with my paper towel. And what this does, it just, um, you know, it makes some of the some of the color lighter and some of it darker. So you know where I was really worried about all the blending it wasn't that necessary. You can see how it bleeds through the other page. I didn't prep this page with gesso or anything. So distress inks do typically bleed through 
especially if they get wet. So be prepared for that. I'll just deal with it later or maybe even use the, the design when I'm journaling on the back of this page. So now I move my washi tape over slightly so it's on the inside of the margin and I'm smushing now. I'm using the peacock feathers and I just um, stamped onto some packaging and then spritzed it with water and then smushed it down onto the page. And then the little bit of color that was left, I just brought it over into the pink section just to get some tiny little spots over there to bring that into the pink section as well. Again, I use my heat tool. You don't have to if you don't have a heat tool. Just speeds up the process. And I take that washi tape off. I'm going to flatten out my page. It's pretty wrinkly right now because of all the water that I've used. Isn't that pretty on the back? I like that. You can just um, even iron your page if you're very careful on a low setting with a piece of cardstock in between or just roll it out or flatten it out with whatever you want to use. I am now using one of the, I'm using the gold stamp. Note this is the beautiful gemstones. I'm obsessed with this stamp. And I rubbed it first with my fingers because it's brand new. And I want to get some oil on it so it picks up the ink better. I'm using, again, the Distress Inks, and I'm making a border with this stamp. And so I'm using the coral color over in the coral pink section and the blue in the blue section. I'm using both first and gener second generation stamping here. That means that I stamp first and I don't re-ink always. That way you get a, a darker and a lighter impression. And I'm just um, going over that. I'm also going to stamp that in black in just a moment. But before I do that, I'm going to stamp the word goals. And I'm taking that off of there. Again, I'm going to rub it on my fingers and my hand to because it's brand new just to get some oil on it so it picks up the ink. I have found with the Illustrative Faith stamps, probably because of the material it's made out of, they really work best. And I'm wiping off some of the excess ink that I picked up. They really work best with the pigment ink that Illustrated Faith sells, the Black IP pigment ink or some other pigment ink. Um, they don't work really well with the dye-based ink. They just don't pick up that ink real clearly. So you also saw me there stamp the gemstones again underneath the goals. I'm using now the highlighter washi tape. It comes in a whole roll of different colors. And I'm using that to set apart the two, to provide a border between the two sections, the, the pink and the blue. And it does help to use a paint card or a gift card or something like that to cut it off. Now I'm using, I'm going to make a tab, and I could use where I stamped it off first. I could use that, but I actually want to do some watercoloring here and get a multicolor tab. So again, I could have, you know, just to make it easy, used what I had over there, but... Now I'm stamping. I use some Distress Inks, just like as I did when I was doing the, mush, the smushing. But now I'm actually picking up the ink with my watercolor brush. And I'm just alternating the different designs here, the different gems. And I just painted with the Distress Inks. And I'm using my We Are Memory Keepers tab punch. And I cut that out. I still use the, the blending tool, the ink that's left on it and I um, just sponged it around the edge. I decided I wanted to get some gold here, so I brought some gold ink out, some pigment ink, and I'm stamping some gold out of the gemstones around the border, primarily second generation inking, just kind of light, and then I did that again over the black. Doing some splatter paints now, with the ink that was left on my packaging. Didn't um, do any more stamping there. Now, right now, I also, um, let's see. Oh, I got the gold sticker that says Wisdom, and that was what inspired me to bring in the gold. And I'm bringing in the washi tape from the kit. I love this teal color. Now, this passage in James says, If you need wisdom, ask our generous God, and he will give it to you. He will not rebuke you for asking. But when you ask him, be sure that your faith is in God alone. So this passage, this page is just all about me and the wisdom that I need from God. So sorry guys about that. My camera 
quit on me last night while I was in the middle of the project. I was almost finished though. You saw me, here I was placing this sticker. I ended up placing it down here. And when I place my stickers here, notice how I'm overlapping both sections just to bring them together, just to bring some continuity and to bring both parts together. So I placed the wisdom sticker here. I placed my washi tape. You saw that. And you see how I um, overlap them there. I added a couple of the stickers from the devotional kit. And I just love how uh, these work together. These are the clear stickers. And they're just beautiful the way they, they work. And so I put the blue here because it's blue. And the pink here just to keep that color scheme, the, the sides of it going. I also added... Um, I underlined and highlighted this. I don't know if that, I, I don't remember if that was on that part. I'll have to go back and look. I added some splatters of the blue and the pink, and then also some, uh, that was in the video, but some black and some gold just to get that in. So I just used the same ink. I used watercolor paint for the black, and then the ink, the stamping ink for the gold. I just stamped it on some my block I've I'll link a video that shows me doing that before so you can see how that's done so that's basically it I also added my bow here and it's just simply some tool ribbon and a paper clip and some gold um, cording and then I stuck there we go and I stuck the card here um, just with another bow and a clip. So that's the page. I also did my journaling and what I said is, Lord, we need daily wisdom about how to raise our boys, but right now we need wisdom about a vehicle and the future. I know by faith that you will guide us. So thanks so much for joining me. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. I hope that this inspired you and that you'll join us for the Illustrated Faith Goals devotional. Check out the link that I have in the comment section so you can pick up yours. And I have all the products linked that I used so you can check those out. And give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Come back and join me next time and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And until next time, God bless. Bye-bye.